Let's get right to it. In yesterday's video, we talked about how to handle outliers in our data sets. Most data sets are going to have outliers. You need to know what outliers are, why to remove them, and how to remove them. The same approach and understanding the concept can be used in almost anything you learn. I call it the what, why, and then the how approach. Let's apply this to yesterday's discussion. What are outliers? They are extreme data points in your data set. Why do we need to remove them? They skew the model's ability to generalize. How do we fix the issue? We said yesterday, a solid approach would be to use three standard deviations away from the mean. Let's try this with another machine learning concept. What is overfitting? Overfitting is like learning through memorization. Rather than understanding the concepts of play and making generalizations, you simply recall what you've seen before and find the closest thing to what you already know. Why do we need to guard against overfitting? Because overfitting can significantly alter the model's performance. How do we correct overfitting? One approach is to use a resampling technique. That means you're going to need to know what the resampling techniques are and how to use them. A solid interview answer would be, I use k-fold validation. It's the gold standard in resampling. I like to use k-folds with a fold increment of 5. You now understand the what, why, and the how. What is it? Why do we need to address it? And how do we do it? Let's do one more. What are NAND values in Python? The word NAND stands for not a number. NAND values are placeholders for missing values in your data set. You've answered the what. Why do we need to handle missing values? Many machine learning models can't model a data set with missing values, and missing values can skew the model's results. You've answered the why. Why do we need to replace them? Lastly, let's tackle the how. A common approach to handling missing values is mean value imputation. This simply means replacing those values with the mean or the average value in that feature. These are foundational concepts in machine learning. You can expect to see these on many interviews. The what, why, and the how approach is a good way to learn applied machine learning. It's also going to help you make it through the technical machine learning engineering interview. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, have a great day. We'll see you soon.